I'll have to be honest with you, first thing I'm going to mention right up front is, is it's free. Uh, I, I like this, this, this service when, when it's free because, you know, you can tie up a lot of money in, in different services and from experience I found out that a, you, sometimes you can pay a lot of money and you, you may not be getting that much out of it. Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. Today is the 31st, the final Grain TV of 2014. Now last night we experienced some very frigid temperatures, but that did very little to support wheat in Chicago here. Let's turn over to the iPad and see where we closed off the day. Corn down 10 cents, soybeans down 18 cents, and wheat in Chicago down 12 and a half cents. Despite the fact that throughout much of the plains here, we saw between negative five and negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit out there, uh, that didn't seem to help uh, wheat in Chicago at all, even uh, with that winter kill scenario. Now, guys, I think one of the main reasons why we were selling off today is just due to the fact that it's the last trading day of the year. I think that we probably saw some people liquidating positions, evening up some positions, and preparing for the new year. I wouldn't be surprised if we get maybe a little bit of a bounce on Friday. Now we had ethanol numbers come out this morning. Ethanol production declined week over week down 20,000 barrels per day to 972,000 barrels per day produced. We also saw ethanol stocks up to 18.09 million barrels. That's the largest we've seen since October 10th. So all in all when you look at this uh, last week of course was a holiday shortened week. We had Christmas during that time period but we're also seeing ethanol margins start to come in here. In the last couple weeks, we've seen uh, ethanol margins decline about a dollar per bushel, and we're right now about a dollar fifty behind where we were last year. So when you look at that, when you look at the economics out there, you would expect to see ethanol, uh, weekly ethanol production start to decline here uh, in the face of that economics. We've seen ethanol prices uh, fall from two dollars and one cent a gallon here a couple weeks ago to just a dollar fifty seven a gallon here this week. So it uh, doesn't look to be very promising here when you look at ethanol production uh, going down the line. Let's take a look at the charts here for corn and soybeans uh, at the very end of the year. You'll notice for soybeans in particular, we're looking at this. We've really been trading in a range since the end of October. We've been up around that 1070. We've been falling down to that 1020 uh, area. Uh, I think what we're seeing here is, uh, is a return to that uh, lower uh, part of this range and it's going to be interesting to see if we find a little bit of support on Friday. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if we kind of saw the selling take the foot off the gas pedal there and we see a little bit of a rebound on Friday. But do keep in mind when we get back into the office next week, it's going to be Monday the 5th. You know, the holiday weeks are behind us. People are going to be focusing on that January 12th WASDI report and stocks report. Both are going to be very important. So keep that in mind when you're trading out there. Let's talk a little bit about the corn chart here. Now, we did come off from the highs. We finished below $4. But keep in mind that we do have previous highs here, um, basically November 13th. And we also have a trend line. So we should see some support. This uh, would kind of fall under the uh, under the supportive side here for Friday's trade action. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if we find a little bit of support here in Friday's trade action. We'll have to see if that is in fact the case. Other than that, guys, that wraps up today's show. But do keep in mind uh, that uh, export sales will be postponed tomorrow. The market will be closed. Market is opening back up at 8.30 Central Standard Time on Friday. Expectations for those uh, export sales report is for corn to come in between 600 and 800,000 metric tons, soybeans to be between 550 and 750,000 metric tons, and wheat in Chicago between 200 and 400,000 metric tons. We're going to have to see if these export sales come in in line with trade expectations. We're going to be looking for larger uh, wheat sales here. To, uh, to help prices out. If we do not get those larger wheat sales, it's going to be very disappointing as uh, the market has been rallying uh, due to the fact that Russia's export curbs and an expectation here that we're going to win some of these sales. If we don't get uh, solid export sales here, it's likely we'll continue to decline in prices. Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you have any questions about what I talked about today, give us a call at 877-472-4607. Have a safe and happy new year.